Hello and welcome to another episode of the Electric Norwegian. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a <laughs> unusual start on the video because we are traveling and I was a bit stressed in the morning. So I forgot to do the uh, introduction. Now it's done. And this is episode 200, so it's going to be the first day of travel and we're going to go through a little bit of just upkeep on the car and stuff like that. Car is at 100%, it's been charging all night. I've even preheated it properly this time, not because it's cold or warm, but because I just run through the battery. It estimates 415 kilometers of range at a very low consumption. We won't hit that, but uh, it's going to be very interesting indeed to see how far we can come. Uh, the EPA estimate of the car is around 420 or something, by the way, which is fascinating. So if we can get close to if we get the 300 on the motorway, I'll be a very happy bunny indeed. Uh, so, now I picked up Robert. And I got my Scamba Tesla up and running. Reset this and called it Europe 22. Maybe it's 99%. Da -da -da. Slept well? Yeah. Ready for a trip? Yeah. But how long do you think we're going to be on the road? 11 hours? 10, 9, 10. And maybe we'll see. It's 0908 and we are off. Now we told the car to avoid terrace, so now it has a land route. We're going to supercharger in Wildberg. That's two and a half hours, 263 kilometers to go. And sounds about right. We're gonna be there at around 12 o'clock. And maybe now we can get the total trip estimate. Yeah, it says we're going to be at Dubenstedt at around half past eight in the evening. Oh. It says 50 minutes charging in Wildberg, like 55 minutes in Kirchen. Yeah, but we, we could have either three long stops or four short stops. So we'll just I think see. that one in Kirchen is okay. Yeah, because then we have a lunch or something. The, 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 yeah, yeah, lunch, late lunch. There's you have you have both the Circle Circle K and uh, Burger King. Yeah. And it's a nice time to have some uh, food. But why does it want to arrive at the bag at 23%? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to have a drive at 23%. I want to arrive at 10%. Yeah, the, uh, if we can see if we, uh, if the if it's isn't this a Falcon bike? Yeah, it's one in Falcon bike. So if go, it's uh, go to Falcon bike instead. Yeah, we will we'll see if it's correct. We will go to Falcon bike instead. But the downside with Falcon bike is I don't know how many people it's on the road because it can be a little bit yeah. half, uh, full there. True. But well, people, not Tesla, not Tesla's charging, but people. Now this... Uh, I don't remember last time we had to wait, what, half an hour or something for the toilet? True. Now, oh yeah, that's the one where the, with, with the, uh, the uh, shell and the... What the fuck are you doing now? With the shell and the... Um, McDonald's QA. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, okay. Um, the road trip planner in this has become probably even better than before, because now uh, it takes into consideration weather, wind, conditions and all of that, so uh, it should be even more precise than it was, which is nice. But we have to address something. Okay. Aren't we on the wrong road? Aren't we at the wrong, the wrong direction? Shouldn't we? Wasn't we supposed to go to Stockholm? <laughs> uh, yeah. We were, but this this summer has become just chaotic with heat waves and and, 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 and stuff. So we thought, of, and because we changed plans so late, prices have gone up, and we just gave up on Stockholm because it's just too expensive. Can't be bothered. Too expensive. Yeah. Too expensive. So we go to to our one of our favorite countries, Germany. It's yeah. That. <laughs> Deutschland, Deutschland, and uh, so on. So we have this. Uh, we have this uh, accommodation tonight at uh, Duvenstedt 
and we have uh, the weekend next weekend in Denmark but between there we will see where we According to the energy graph of 149, and it estimates 194 kilometers. We've already been doing 129 kilometers, so we're well, well uh, 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 within the reach of 300 total. It has an average. We, we have had an average of 166 watt hours, and we're still cruising at 115 kilometers an hour give or take the old caravan so yeah I don't think that's bad looked at all actually we it estimates we will arrive with 10% now at at uh, Valberg, which is nice. I want to arrive with, with 5 and 10 percent. That's because of optimal. Yeah, we had some issues. Yeah, the car suddenly decided to stop uh, on the north side of Gothenburg, so we had to just reset the entire trip. But then now it's swelling it. It's, it's, I don't know what happened. So we're having a detour through Gothenburg because of Q situation. There's a Gothia Cup, a huge football cup uh, going on, and there's the uh, Lisberg, uh, and there's generally vacation time. So it's just a lot of traffic and stuff. Uh, so we have a detour, and well, this is episode 200. When I set out on this kind of YouTube thing, Four or five years ago now. I didn't have a plan. I just wanted to give my opinion and some stuff. And if I go back, it sort of shows because it's not really there's not really a consistent plan on what the channel was supposed to be about. And then it just over time ended up being this kind of uh, road test car channel. Yeah, because you started as uh, map talks. Yeah, it was just, yes, talking about what I really wanted. That's why I didn't give it a... I didn't give the channel name and a direction, because I didn't know of what direction it would take. So if it said driving or tech or whatever, it would sort of given it a... a um, direction? Exactly. Or, something about the content you were expecting yeah. so I tried to give it an open and the name uh, I don't know what this what is about this navigation today but it's totally on vacation I think because we should be driving here as so find out bus and uh, electric bus I think don't follow the navigation take left okay. you were on the first um, Episode. Mm, where? Yes, you were. Oh. And that was pure coincidence because I had to run a few test videos yeah. that no one else has seen just to see how 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 I how I did this and how it was to talk to the camera and all that. Mm. And then we were just chatting, and I figured out that wait a moment, this could actually work because it was something about the dynamic. Um, and from there on, it just. We've been covering quite a lot of different things, wind turbines and speed limits and, and energy efficiency and... Ah, the first video with the, uh, was discussing uh, Kia Soul. Yeah, and the charging and stuff. Yeah, since, since 2019, yeah, it's become this road trip 
Yeah, we started when we were going to Europe with yeah. the Blue Tesla. Yeah, in 2019. Yeah. yeah. And then it just sort of become more or less uh, a routine, a kind of making a traveling blog, which is fine. Yeah. People have asked for it. So Actually, actually yeah. people have asked for it because I got a comment yesterday. <laughs> but you are not going to road trip this year, so, so and that's nice. And I must say also thank you to the people that have been following and that are following and that new and old. Um, so have I learned something over all this video or over this two hundred episodes? I like to think so. <laughs> I've sort of feel the channel has found its shape and. Uh, more or less its form. You can complain and say it's simple and, and, and that's true, it is on purpose. Because I'm not James, I'm not trained in video and film, so I don't use 10 cameras. Um, and to be perfectly honest, there's, there's just very, if you're gonna make videos about trying and testing cars, there's like, you film the car and then you drive the car and there's sort of not very many ways of doing that. There is a level of varying degree of complexity. Yeah. But, but that, that's not about it. So but do you feel the channel today is where you wanted it, wanted it to be? I never really understood people asking questions where do you want to go because I have no idea I've never wanted to know where I want to go in my life the navigation doesn't know where you want to go exactly to go. even the navigation is confused today <laughs> it, it actually isn't because it is leading us around around uh, a lot of traffic so uh, but yeah I think it's in a good place and making a video with 15 20 minute half hour half an hour it actually you have to book the car, we have to test the car. It actually goes quite a few hours into this stuff. Even though it might seem that my videos aren't the most uh, comprehensive. And I'm focusing more on the experience of driving the car more than all the technical aspects. And I know how I want my car to be. And I might criticize sometimes. Uh, oh, unnecessary, you might think the details, like like a frunk uh, or uh, like space optimization of a car and all of that stuff, because it's important. It's Now we're here. 274 kilometers, uh, 244, 150 watt hours per kilometer. So that's nice. Let's plug it in. Yeah, that was us. I think we were there at more or less just half an hour. Half an hour, just exactly. Yeah, and, <clears throat> and having a lunch. We have 95%. This car just charges so fast. It charged now, I checked 147 kilowatt at. Uh, around 50%, which is just absurd because that's a 3C at 50%. And this is it now says one, I don't think that's updated. It was full, it was Kia EV6s, ID3s, Lolo's. e trons, and a sh lot of Teslas. It's just complete chaos. I even got a, got a message now that when I got back to the car that I've never seen before. Redirecting to a less busy supercharger. I've never seen that message before, ever. Which is fascinating. Um, so now we're going to Kyrgyz directly. Probably at least trying to. 
If we're getting out for okay. If one we can get out of. <laughs> but <clears throat> I must say, we would have easily done 300 kilometers on the previous charge. And uh, we had an average speed of 111.8 kilometers an hour. And we ran, uh, ran 154, I think, uh, watt hours per kilometer. So all that talk of lower speeds are better for everyone doesn't really apply to EVs. I've been saying that for a long time now. And because the total energy consumption is just not that much higher. And if you look at the amount of time you have to uh, catch up charging, it's really speaking of it's just minutes, it's really irrelevant. And energy wise, I think actually we're running on wind power now because there's a lot of wind turbines all over us going from the border and down here, it's just everywhere. So I think we're running pretty much on wind power, which is nice. It's uh, more or less uh, zero carbon energy, and that's a good thing. So onwards to Denmark then. It's pretty full here. All the solar panels and everything, it's all working very nicely now. I didn't get a spot in the shade though, but that's how it is. So we traveled here even quicker than we traveled on the first leg, and it's the same distance. So I love this car, it's just brilliant. Um, as long as it says 5%, you're going to arrive with, you're fine, you have your buffer, you can just go. I think this is one of our favorite uh, charging places. It is. And look, it's open. It is a Beamer charging there. And you have the uh, i3 up there. So. Yeah, and the Polestar. And it's just great to see. Is it in a new situation? Not really. It's a bit more busy than usual probably, but yeah, it's going to be fine. Hey, I'm sorry about the the fan. It's uh, it's uh, quite noisy. So we've done some math, and we've been doing we've been doing about 113 kilometers an hour average speed, and we used six hours getting down here. Uh, you don't travel any faster in your diesel or your petrol car because you have to stop once anyway, and that's including charge times. It's just completely bonkers. This is the cheapest car Tesla built and it's with a 50 kilowatt hour battery. We've done 553 kilometers so far. Uh, and by the time you get your food, you just, we had, what, both of our charge stops have been around half an hour. Yeah. We could have been even shorter. But um, if there's a queue situation and stuff going on, you know, people are on the road. So. I don't think they could. Not by much, maybe five minutes. I think we have been as efficient as we could. Mm. Going to the bathroom and have some food, it's, and uh, by the door, by, uh, when we finish food, uh, the car's finished. Uh, yeah. That takes half an hour. Yeah. I mean, you don't really need 800 volts. <laughs> Because this car couldn't use it on the road anyway, I think. Going down here. Because yeah. the, the battery is so small that you don't, you can't utilize it. Uh, so, yeah, we I don't know exactly where we're going next. Another we'll crew. see. Another we're going crew. to the crew. Now we're cruising at 100. 30 km an hour. Denmark is a really speed country, apart from Germany, it really is. Um, but when we traveled through here with the blue car, apart from we had a slightly different route, there was a ferries involved. Uh, we drove one of the ways, I don't remember which, but 
V3 supercharging wasn't a thing, it didn't exist. You had the V2 chargers. I think the car hadn't been optimized for 200 kilowatt hour charging yet on third party chargers or on Tesla's own because it didn't exist. They had the V2s and they're capped at 150. So I think it was. Did we get a I don't 200 remember. on the fastnet charger? Yeah, I think... 175, the, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think I maybe just had got it out before we left. I don't... That's, but, but, but we mostly used the superchargers anyway, and they are... They, they, the V2s are just 150. So, actually I think we travel faster with this car now than we did with the long range back then. Of course, with if we had a new long range now, then... Yeah, that would be different, but... With the heat pump and everything, we would get even more range. But of course, do you need more range? Listen to the, the noise. <laughs> so quiet in here, even at high speed, because the the asphalt in Sweden is truly atrociously bad. Yeah, but the asphalt in Sweden is terrible. In Denmark, is wonderful. In France, it's even better. <laughs> France has the best best roads in all of Europe, after all. But we're not in France. So far on this trip we have done 555, 565 kilometers and we have an average of 155 watt hours. That's an average. And all of them has been fast. We've averaged above 100 kilometers an hour so far. I don't really think any other car can match this. This doesn't can buy. Maybe the old Ionic, but the old Ionic doesn't have the range. And uh, the new Ionic 5 at high speed is insufficient. Uh, I can tell you one thing the Mercedes EQE can't match this. The uh, i4 probably, possibly could. Actually. But it doesn't cost. It costs more than this. That's it then, Rudy Crow. 370, that's not that bad really. It's quite windy as well, so I think the wind picked up. 123, alright, fine. Some chargers here, and then there are some on the other side of that gas station over there. So it's not that far left, actually, it's just. 89 kilometers left to go. And then we're in Schleswig Holstein. Which well, Otto. It's all it's all Bismarck's fault, isn't it? Fascinating. I was here at the shell station last year. Uh, I didn't know this thing existed. Uh, but that's nice because this is a little bit small. Yeah. And what what I like about uh I think I like about uh uh, most uh, uh, superchargers in Denmark by the highway is, that, is the Sunset Boulevard uh, restaurant. Yeah. I've, because they are in 
nice restaurants that have good food uh, and the toilets are clean. Yeah, that's true. They, they, they must have very good food and they're not too expensive either. No, so... I got a break from been, the normal McDonald's and Burger King yeah, thing. Yeah, we have been to some of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly the northern part of Denmark though. Because we haven't ever driven here. No. This is the first time we've taken the land route. True. That's because the ferry was shifty, uh, shifty expensive. It costs 120 euros to take the ferry. That's and uh, uh, instead we have paid, what, 20 euros for the bridge? I have no idea. I've just driven through the payage. I haven't bothered looking. I don't even see it. I haven't seen the signs on the price. I don't know what it's called. No, oh, you have not have the signs for a price. You have to uh, look up on their websites, but I think it's maybe 20 or 30 euros. Okay. Robert's room is different. <laughs> he has a sitting group and everything. I don't, I don't think he got that. This, uh, and that's the restaurant. Yes, guest house. So that's going to be nice. Short walk for the dinner. And then I will we'll eat, I think. Well, what, what do you think? Are you happy with the room? Oh, yeah. It's for one night, so. Yeah, it's perfect for night. Under 70 euros per person per night, so. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Uh, this, this is some place I could stay for more nights if we were doing something. Well, it's a nice little place as well. It's a very nice little dog, as it were. Yeah. So, finally we found some food. The uh, the restaurant across the, uh, over there was <clears throat> slightly rude in the way uh, sometimes, not very often, thankfully, but sometimes you can find restaurants to be when you're in other places and other countries than your own. We, they were suddenly very full. <laughs> they might have been for the book, I don't know, but I don't think they were. They just didn't want any tourists or foreigners there. I don't know. But there was, we noticed on the way down here, about 500 meters up the road, a Greek restaurant, so we went there. And what about that restaurant? Oh my god. Uh, it was, I felt welcome from, I stepped uh, into the, inside the, the garden of the restaurant, oh, um, yeah. I briefed with my little bit of German I could, so. They gave us a table and gave us the menus and yeah, and there was always it was just a good menu, a lot of food. a lot of food, typical just German food, very <coughs> simple food in many ways, but plenty of it yeah. and good food, yeah, tasty. And you, before <coughs> the main course, you got this little nice salad to start off yeah. with and an uso, yeah, shot of uso. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice place. Typical Greek restaurant to go to get some of this aperitif. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Who knows best if you really would just want to come back to Yeah. It. And it's just 10 hours down there, so you can actually do this in a weekend. You can leave on Friday and go back yeah. on a Sunday. <laughs> and this place is very nice. We paid 400, well, no, we paid 41 euros, 41.3 euros for both of us. At the restaurant, yes. Yes, for a dinner and a, just a beer and a coke. Yeah. So that's definitely not anything to complain about. No, I don't think so. The room is okay. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. For for the price, seventy euros per room. I think it's okay. Yeah. Um. And it's if you're. Coming here if you're taking the ferry or something. It's not really that far. But how long from the um, border crossing in here? What half an hour? From border to here in half an hour. Roughly, yeah. So it's not really far. So, yeah. 10 hours. Hmm. That's a. We usually spend 12 hours something when we were last time. But then we will go past Hamburg. Now we are not on the other side, on the northern side of Hamburg. So. 
Yeah, that's true. And, <clears throat> and the charging infrastructure is better now. And I uh, think also the car is a little bit more efficient. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is a little bit, if nothing else, because it, that runs on 18 inch and the old one runs run, run, run 19. So. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. So now we're back at the hotel, you're gonna edit some videos. Have try some... And make some make a system of this we <laughs> made today. Have some beer. And I have some what they call mesomix. It's Coke and Fanta in the same bottle. Something they have, they have in Germany I like like. I think that's it. Think uh, thank you for watching this at least special episode two hundred. <laughs> it's a bit of a mashup, but you just have to deal with that. And uh, we will see you again tomorrow where we will when we will continue our travels to Berlin. Do, do, I don't really know if we're gonna go the direct route. We will see. It's it's a vacation. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No. So thanks for watching. Comment. Like, comment. And all that stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Take care. Bye bye.